Good evening, friends. Uh, this is Monday, the day after Easter. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're finding deep joy in this uh, difficult time. Uh, I hopefully, I can add to that joy tonight as I bring you a word from the Bible. Um, I want to pick up where I left off last week. Last week I told you about the tragic story of King Rehoboam. Uh, he had been handed the kingdom. Uh, his his father, King Solomon, had died, and now he was the king. And right out of the right out of the gate, he made a tragic decision. He he listened to the counsel of uh, of his of his elders, the wise men in in his kingdom, and then he listened to the counsel of his high school buddies, basically the the guys he'd grown up with, and he took the counsel of his, his his buddies over the council of the elders and it was a tragic mistake ultimately what happened that day was the kingdom was divided uh and uh, the, the 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 nation of israel actually became two kingdoms the kingdom of judah which was basically one tribe and that's what uh, rehoboam got and then the kingdom of israel which was the rest of the nation and he and and that d division that separation uh, it, it continued for many, many, many years. And so if you fast forward in the book of First Kings to around chapter 22, that's the story I want to tell you about today. We have two kings. Uh, we have King Ahab, who is a wicked king, and he led the kingdom of Israel, about 11 tribes. And then we have King Jehoshaphat, who was a righteous king, and he led the kingdom of Judah, which was basically one tribe. <clears throat> And the Bible says that Jehoshaphat, King Jehoshaphat, did what was right in the sight of the Lord. I want you to uh, to really relate to him because you are a Christ follower, um, and I believe that tonight the Lord looks down on you and He says, "Like you're you're doing right in my sight. Um, you're 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 my child, and I'm pleased with you, and I'm working on your behalf." That's how God saw King Jehoshaphat. King Ahab, who was leading the, the kingdom of, of Israel, uh, the Bible tells us in several places in 1 Kings that he was a particularly wicked king. Yeah, he was leading, he, he was leading Israel, but he was a particularly wicked king. He, his wife was infamous. You may have heard of her, Queen Jezebel. So King Ahab repeatedly led the kingdom of, of Israel, millions of people, to follow after other gods, to leave their God, and to follow and to worship Baal, which was a particularly wicked sort of religion. And he was he was repeatedly disobedient to the Lord and repeatedly led the people away from the Lord rather than to the Lord. And so we have these two contrasting kings. They go into battle. They go into battle against an enemy nation. King, um, king Ahab, the wicked king, decides to go undercover. He doesn't want to be seen. He stays away from the enemy line, and he doesn't, uh, he doesn't want to be killed. King Jehoshaphat goes to battle. He is, uh, the enemies, they chase him until they realize, they think he's King Ahab. They realize ultimately, when they catch up to his chariot, he's not King Ahab. So they, they veer off. They don't, they don't want a piece of him. They're looking for King Ahab. But King Ahab is nowhere to be found. He's, he's hiding He's undercover. He's staying away from the battlefront. But then the Bible says this. It's such an interesting verse. Listen to every word. It says, as Ahab is, is hiding away, it says, But a certain man, that's, on, that's in, on the enemy line, a certain man drew his bow at random and struck the king of Israel between the scale armor and the breastplate. And, and ultimately, King Ahab died. Even though he did all that he could to stay away from the enemy lines and to hide so that he couldn't be uh, seen, um, he died. <clears throat> What's going on here? A seemingly random act. The the enemy archer draws back the bow. I don't know if you ever shot a bow and arrow. I used to, many years ago, do a little bit of competitive archery. Uh, and I've tried this. I've, I've drawn back the bow and just released it at random, straight up in the air. And you know what? I never found that arrow. Uh, when you do that, when you just draw it back and, and let it go at random, it, it travels up in the air, and then there's an arc, and then it travels back down. And where it's going to land, nobody knows. It is completely random. You cannot hit a target accurately using that method. 
So this passage says that a, that a certain man, an enemy archer, drew the bow and shot the arrow at random. But but here's here's the the truth in this passage. But the Lord directed the arrow. Now I don't, I don't want to major tonight on the fact that the Lord took out uh, evil King Ahab. What I want to major on tonight is that in our that in our lives, those of us who are who are children of the living God, sons and daughters of the living God, that God would look down on us and say, He does right in my sight. He's following me. She's 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 pleasing in her in her efforts to follow me and honor me and lead her family to follow me and honor me. That the Lord looks down tonight and and, and in and in seemingly random acts, the Lord is working purposefully in your life. I know this seem today seems really random. With, with with all of us staying at home and not knowing what's coming next and wondering who's in control and what you know there there's there are random um, there are random aspects seemingly random aspects to our lives right now in which we wonder is is what's going on here is is is, is, is anything is anything purposeful what's coming next well, what I want you to rest in tonight is is that your heavenly Father is is on His throne things may seem random. But in the middle of all of that, God is weaving his, his purpose. He is directing all that's happening. Even the tragic, even the arrows that are flying around us, the Lord is, he is, he is causing them to fly in just the direction that he wants. Rest in his goodness. Rest in his purpose. Tonight when you lay your head on the pillow, know that, 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 that the King of Heaven, your Heavenly Father, he is in control. And nothing happens behind his back. Nothing happens uh, when he's taking a rest or when he is, he is away from his throne. He, it, it may seem random, but God's purposes are being served tonight for your goodness and for your future and for your hope. Rest in that, my friends.